I'm Brian and Dooney, and I've been here in Coeur d'Alene for seven years. Um, we just loved the area, loved the lakes and the beautiful outdoors and the slower way of life. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to work at home um, as a self-employed um, business development person, and uh, my wife works at home as well. So we get to live where we want, and we want to live here. So uh, we're very fortunate and happy and, and, um, and lucky to be here. And I'm very passionate about um, um, technology and engineering and math and science and schools. And, uh, and I get a chance to do um, a part of that with uh, the robotics team at the high school. I became involved with robotics uh, after we were looking for um, a, a spike for my son. And my oldest son, who was in high school at the time, he needed that one little edge. There's, there's a lot of smart kids out there. He needed something to separate him apart from the other smart kids. And, um, and we found literally an ad in the paper uh, that was um, uh, Lorna Finman looking for some kids to join the robotics team at, um, that she was putting together. So I, I told Nick that I would certainly go along and, and help him and be a part of that, and, and I was hooked. I loved working with the kids. I loved um, sharing my experiences and my knowledge and, and being a part of um, something greater and something that the kids could really grasp a hold of. Um, our vision is that um, in the near future we would like to have a Coeur d'Alene team and that team might uh, be encompassing um, uh, Lake City, and Coeur d'Alene High School, Charter High School, home schools, uh, anybody within the greater Coeur d'Alene area that we could combine together as a team. One of the biggest challenges we have is funding and um, it's an expensive program to do and uh, with um, limited amounts of, of uh, resources here in the Coeur d'Alene area as far as businesses go, uh, it makes sense to have one team that we can pull from uh, multiple uh, schools and, um, and have that be a, a success in itself. Um, I, you know, I think Coeur d'Alene is, um, is caught between being a really small town and the next size up is a larger town. Um, and so I see Coeur d'Alene as, as kind of that, it's, it's growing and the universities are expanding here, businesses are trying to be pulled in, and, and I think um, the challenges it has is, is forethought for infrastructure, forethought for leadership, and, um, and, and getting some of that groundwork laid before they need to think about uh, the details after the fact. The opportunities are huge. I think um, opportunities for universities to come in here are, are phenomenal. I love what U of I is doing. I love what NIC is doing here. Uh, Lewis and Clark and, and Boise State College are here. Um, I'd like to see them expand into to larger real campuses and make a university corridor. I think that in itself will pull businesses in and you know, that's just a natural progression and getting the universities to spin off startups is, uh, is always a, a huge opportunity. I just want to close with uh, how lucky I am for being able to be a part of this community. Uh, I like the ability to, to share my experiences with the next generations.